Hello everyone, welcome to the next section of the course, Glance Image Service. This section covers topics such as Glance Architecture and Exam Objective, which starts with creating and downloading Glance images, then followed with sharing images with specific projects and setting Glance image properties and metadata definitions. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with Glance Architecture. In this video, we are going to explore about Glance Architecture. Then we will discover the Glance on the Horizon dashboard and Image Properties versus Glance Metadata Definitions. Glance is the OpenStack image service and it provides the registration, storage and delivery of cloud images. Glance is comprised of two primary daemons, that is Glance API and Glance Registry. Glance-API is the primary gateway to Glance. One must interact with Glance API to store and retrieve disk images. Glance-Registry is responsible for storing metadata associated with the image in the relational database. Examples of image metadata include the image name, image location, UUID, image size, owner, project ID, availability status, and disk format. Glance can store images in a variety of data stores, including Swift, Amazon S3, and the local file system on which the Glance API daemon resides, or even a publicly accessible web server. Now let's see Glance at the Horizon dashboard. Glance appears on the left side of the project panel group in the Horizon dashboard. In the provided virtual appliance, you can see a previously uploaded cloud image called Cirrus. Cirrus is a lightweight, minimal operating system image designed for use as a test image for clouds. Cirrus's image visibility is set to public, therefore making it accessible and thus bootable to all projects across all domains. Visibility is fundamental to understanding Glance and passing the Glance-related COA objectives. Breaking down the possible visibility statuses for an image. The visibility column on the Horizon dashboard determines whether a Glance image is public, private or shared with project. Here the visibility status is public. Public images cannot be modified or deleted unless you are scoped to the project that owned the image. Let's proceed with Glance image properties versus Glance metadata definitions. Modifying Glance image properties can be a little confusing at first because there are two options for doing so on the Horizon dashboard. As you can see here, selecting the Edit Image option from the Horizon dashboard allows a user to edit the name, description, format, minimum disk, minimum RAM, public, and protected properties. These are not definitions set by the Glance Metadata Definition Service, but simple image properties native to Glance images. Glance Metadata Definitions, on the other hand, are properties that can be set on OpenStack resources. You can observe that this is the Metadata Definitions panel available in the Admin System panel group. To apply this metadata to an image, a user needs to upload their image and can then click on the Update Metadata link in the Actions drop-down. You can now select the Hypervisor type property from the left-hand Available Metadata pane and add it to the image. Here we can update metadata definitions associated with a Glance image on the Horizon dashboard. In this video, we learned Glance Architecture along with its interface and working on the Horizon dashboard. After that, we saw the Glance Image Properties versus Glance Metadata Definitions.